Hi all, we often hear that data is the new oil. And working in the data industry, we come across two major challenges. First, the availability of data. And even if we make the data available, we come across the second concern, which is maintaining the quality and standard of the data. Now, today, in this video, we are going to talk about Hugging Face Hub, which hosts thousands plus data sets for numerous tasks such as text classification, text generation, text summarization, image related tasks and what not. And more importantly, these data sets are available under open license, which means professional learners like us can read, make readily use of these data sets for building various applications under generative AI and data science tasks. So let us head over to our notebook section and see what this data sets has to offer. But before proceeding ahead, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video and stay on top of your generative AI learning. Now, the first thing that we need to do in order to make use of the Hugging Face datasets is installing the library called datasets. Okay, So we already installed it here in our collab environment and then we import the load dataset functionality from this dataset library. Now let us see some of the datasets that are hosted here in the Hugging Face Hub. And from these datasets, we shall select one of them. Okay, So there are nearly 90,065 datasets that are currently hosted. That is an incredible number. And these are under various task heads such as multimodality, computer vision, natural language processing, and many others. Okay, So we shall go for a text classification dataset. Under text classification, let us select an emotion dataset. Okay, Dire emotion dataset. This primarily comprise of various text and these text have been classified as one of these emotions from the various categories such as sadness, anger, love. Okay, So let us quickly head over and load this data set. In order to load any data set from Hugging Face Hub, what we need essentially is the directory name, dire AI slash emotion. So this is the path that we need and how we shall load it. We shall under load data set functionality, we shall just paste that name or the path to that data set. Now our data set will be quickly loaded here. You see the data set is getting loaded. Let us load our data set and see what it is. So basically our data set is a data set dict type. Okay. And what this dict type contains, this contains the various uh, splits for the data set such as train, validation and test. And the number of rows or the number of records under each is specified as 16,000, 2,000 and 2,000. If we look back to this page wherein uh, this data set is hosted, we see it has also specified that there are 20k rows for this subset. And this subset contains three specific split, splits, train, validation and test. So we loaded it accordingly. Now, uh, what if we want to load a specific split of the data set or we want to select samples from specific splits, okay? So for that, we have a parameter name known as split and which we shall use in the load data set. So we see here two specific examples. In one, we just selected the split called train. Okay, so this train split should have 16,000 records with two features, text and label. And in the second case, where we are just sampling the data set, what we are essentially specifying, we are specifying that select 1000 samples, first 1000 samples from train split, and the first 200 samples from validation split, and return a sample data set. So let us run these and see how it works. So we see there are 16,000 records that we got for a first TR, data TR. This is loading only the train split. And in the second case where we sampled the data set, we have 1200 samples, 1000 plus 200. You see the splits that we saw earlier in this data sets dict are no longer available because we used a specific split now. Okay. Now let us load and see how things are working. And this is how we index our data set. We just pass the index number within the parenthesis. And if we want to load a range of values, we pass this as a sliced form, okay? For example, here, just see the example here. So how this will load the data? This will load each of the features as a list comprising the size that we specified here or the values that we specified here, the splice. So we see there are five values 
and corresponding five labels. Okay. Now, one of the primary questions that people ask that how do we load data set or how do we download the data set from Hugging Face Hub to our local? For that, what we essentially need is to install the Git LFS. LFS is large file storage system. So Git LFS, basically all the data sets that we see in the Hugging Face data sets have been hosted in under GitHub, right? GitHub large file storage. So from there, we can directly install. For that, we first install the Git LFS. This is initialized. Then we clone a specific repository that we want to clone or download. Let me show the example here. So uh, this is the data set and the path of the data set that we saw here. Just give me a second. Yes. So from this path, we can directly download or clone any data repository into our local and then load them just the same way as we use under load data.